This time I'm going to show you something that I use all the time, and that's how to convert MIDI files into audio files. So a reason you might want to do this is if you use a lot of virtual instruments like I do um, and use a MIDI controller to record them, well, those record into MIDI format. So basically it's just a code and not audio that records um, that tells you what note was pushed, which then triggers your computer virtual instrument. And so if for some reason your computer goes down or something bad happens to your instrument on your computer, then you can't get that same sound that you originally had. So one way to do this is to bus it out to an audio track and record it. How I do this is let's just get a MIDI track recorded real quick. Just something crazy. Okay, so as you can see right here, it recorded a MIDI track. This top track is just for the video. This MIDI track right here, and that is just data. It's not an audio file. This, these notes trigger this mini grand. So one way to get that into audio, so if for some reason you lose the mini grand, then you still have it. You go to, you add a new audio track, stereo preferred. And then you create the output in this to some bus. So we'll just go to one. And then the input to this audio track also to one. So this basically routes it into the audio track. Make sure it's triggered for recording and just record it in live time. So when you mute the MIDI track and you have just your audio and you play it back, you have the audio file. So just to prove that, even if you take out the insert and it's all inactive, it still plays and you have the audio. One bad thing is you can't go back and adjust the instrument sound after you do this because it, it records the audio just like if you're recording vocals or something. So if you need to do that, then try to keep the MIDI file or just re-record it each time and save the presets or something. So uh, hopefully this helps and I use this quite a bit later.